this is no longer baby hair this hair has children and grandchildren this is grandmother <laughs> Wanna blow up in the limelight Think about what my life would then be like Go to LA, I'm back on the one night Trying to catch a flight, I'm just working for that jet life What's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel If this is your first time seeing this face Hold up! I'm your returning subscriber Hi girl, welcome back to our channel So today's video is going to be like a quick, quick one Cause I have to be out here in the next Next one hour today i'm going to be talking about postpartum hair loss and how it has just whoosh, hit me hard today's video is sponsored by unique hair they sent me this hair bag with which is coming in handy today because i'm in a haste i don't have time to lay down a frontal the fronter so this week is coming on coming in handy good job Eunice. i don't know whether it's called Eunice or unanis but the nigerian in me doesn't want to call it unanis because there's a name called Eunice, so your name is going to be Eunice. okay so the weekend in this beautiful red box which i think is so cute and it came with a lot lots of goodies it had um a wig cap which you would use it had lots and lots of headband it also came with a wig bag which as you can see which is so cute like i said it had lots and lots of hairband like a lot at some point i thought they wanted us to start doing bend and select to the hairband now this is the wig it's a 22 24 inches water wave i was really surprised by the quality of this wig all the details of the wig will be in the description box so yeah let's get right into the video it has so many combs this thing attached to it so that um to give it extra security give you say secure secure also has um this thing a clamp or something like an elastic where you can just clamp it if you also need extra security and it also has this um the headband at the end of the headband it has a ver ver velcro velcro where velcro where you can just you know clamp and yeah you're good to go this is you can just throw it on your head as i'm about to do now i'm going to show you all how easy it is you guys have seen me wear a hairband wig before but i'm going to show you how you can actually slay with this particular one so let's get right into the video while i'm slaying down the child the ghetto <laughs> while i'm laying down the wig I just exposed myself on camera like that. that that's, that's fine. Okay, let's start from the fact that I always, not always, I knew before I gave birth, not before I got pregnant, post, I found out postpartum hair loss was a thing. When I found out I was in denial, I was looking at a woman's daughter's hair. I'm like, wow, she has so much hair. And the woman was like, you know, we, we women, we lose our hair when we give birth, we give our children our hair. I was like, who is we? We the people of the United States, we your family. Who the fuck is we? We the people of the United States? No. Who is we? Your family? I'm not you speaking French because I'm one of those that had stubborn edges. No matter the trial and tribulation I put my edges through, they always come out victorious. I, I was very much in denial and I gave birth, right? I gave birth, everything was flourishing. You guys could see my hair even right after I gave birth. My edges were on point. I was still laying then. Everything was good. I thought I finally like escaped the whole postpartum hair loss. In fact, it was not even at the back of my mind. Until one day, I think postpartum hair loss was passing by. Went to visit, went to visit my neighbor. I was fast passing by, I saw my hair, I saw that my edges were still in that. I was like, what's this? I like it, Picasso. What's this? It's an art project. Okay, I like it, Picasso. One day, I went to wash my hair. I washed my hair. I spent almost three hours detangling my hair. It was crazy. I detangled my hair. I was so sure that when I pour water on it, that it was not going to tangle after because I had tangled it, right? I was so wrong. I was like, 
Oh, after I tangle my hair now, there is no way to cut. It's not when your hair tangles. Your hair tangles like to cut. I was going to wash it session by session. So I was like, there's no way postpartum hair loss was going to creep in like that. Like, it's not possible, right? I didn't know that postpartum hair loss saw it as a challenge. I was like, okay, I challenge you. Let's see who does it better. You or me? Okay, I challenge you. I mean, who does it better, you or me? I mean, as when I went into that bathroom to, to, to wash my hair, as I poured out on my hair and shampoo, I brought out one. I wanted to lose one part so that I can lather it and you know comb my hand through it. Everything just became matted up like together, like it became matted up. There was no combing. There was no running. Your the only way I could get it to do was to tear was to tear my hair, both my edges, everything was just matted, like matted up, like I, I went crazy for how many years and I didn't take care of my hair, I had to just wash my hair and leave the, the, the bathroom because nothing was working, I was there for up to how many hours trying to or mat it, but it was so strong that you literally hear my hair tearing, I was like this is over now, it's over for me, there's nothing else remaining, and the next possible thing I could have done was to, to cut my hair, to shave off my head. I was already fed up. I was like, I'm tired. I'm tired of this grandpa. I'm tired of this grandpa. That's too damn bad. You keep digging. I went to look for my husband's scissors, clippers or scissors, anything. But thank God my husband was ahead of me. He saw, he already saw the mental breakdown coming. So he hid every scissors clipper everything in the house so when i was calling him to tell, ask him oh i cannot see your clipper i can't even find any scissors i was like i should forget about that I, my hair that wants to cut i was like how do you know i was ready to cut my hair i cried myself because i saw my as i was on matting like i said okay let me start for my edges let me just hold just on matting like this everything just clump of hair just fell off my edges I had like a bald spot on my edges. I still do. I'm just, I, I'm just better at finessing it now. I've done my edges. Cute, cute. This is no longer baby hair. This hair has children and grandchildren. This is grandmother hair. I had to bring that hair from my actual hair and swoop it to the front because for my edges, it is gone. So that was all you guys saw me doing, and that was why it took so much time. For what well, my edges have just proved. So I'm just going to wear. Just go ahead and wear this wig right now. As you can see, it is so easy. It's so easy to wear. You can clip it. I don't. I really don't like clipping it. But for the sake of this video, I'm going to clip it. Then I'm going to try and go outside to fight somebody and see if it falls off. It's pretty secure. Been very much secure relationship. Oh, this is just water mixed with conditioner and all of that to show you how much you change hair. This side is wet and this side is not. Still cute. Okay, that's what happens when you get good hair. I ran my hand through the wig as I was wetting it, and this is the shedding it got. See, just this. Wonderful. To do my makeup off camera, and I'll come back and conclude. Not conclude this video. I continue. My, I continue my story. You know, because I have a story to tell. I have a story. I figured I'll pretty much talk while I do my makeup. And I I just cried. Then I I called my friends. I tried to call them actually, and nobody picked. Like literally nobody picked. Then I picked up my phone and I made a video to send to. She sent to one of them to say, oh, look at what is happening. And I ended up crying in that video because like I was too overwhelmed, right? I know it's just hair, but from my standpoint, it's like, damn, pregnancy is a gift. Is um, so, is a gift that keeps giving, right? Or rather keeps taking from you. What else are you going to take? My kidney? You're taking my edges. Like, what did my edges do to you? That was where my anger was coming from. Like, why do I have to go through this many changes like it should have ended after right after i gave birth like what is happening but i was just devastated as i made that video I, I was about to say that was when i realized 
something very big well, that was when I noticed that I'm always the one complaining I'm always the one crying sharing yeah, sharing the problem all the, all of those things just and I just never really see them <laughs> is it that they don't have issues that was what I was thinking I figured oh and nobody pits everybody's busy with their lives and I'm just sitting here complaining like imagine someone sitting at home mumbling and cackling instead of paying their motherfucking bills imagine someone sitting home mumbling and cackling instead of playing paying their motherfucking bills so in my mind I was like so you need to start doing something you need to get busy see all your friends are like working hard to build their future I you you're here looking for who to disturb so I said not to send a video I made a decision not to you know always start not to be always complaining right i should learn how to handle my issues myself at this point and stop disturbing people's children i mean friendship is all about sharing right but if the sharing is not a two-way thing and i'm the one doing it i just feel like a body that's why i try not to share and the pros of this of it all is that i now know how to solve my issue myself like i now know how to give myself pep talk i know how to move forward when i'm upset without actually sharing my issues or my problems with anyone it has made me pretty self um, sufficient when it comes to that aspect of my life the the con is i'm not always talking to myself like you will always literally catch me talking to my, myself at first i was ashamed of it but not, not but not anymore but now i talk to myself anyhow because like i am the one i give myself the best advice I know that if I talk to myself, I'm not going to judge myself. Like I get the advice from the baddest bitch, which is me. So the relationship with myself is very much real, but I look like a mad person. Other con is that I notice that if I don't call, nobody will call me. And for the past one month, two months now, it's been like that. Like I'm like, damn, really, have I been the one? Because I'm, I at first I didn't have a problem with it because I'm the calling type. So. Even if you don't call me or I call you, tell you, you call me back and you end up not calling me back, I will call you. Do you understand? I'm like, damn, but really, I don't call. Y'all will not call me. <laughs> I guess you guys are not the calling type, so I have to learn not to be the calling type too. And, I, uh, and because of that, and I'll start applying it to every other friendship I had. Like, I'll start, I'll start thinking, all oh, this while, have I been the one sustaining and holding on this friendship? So I said to take a step back from all, like, active communicating with all my um, friends and just step being on my own. So, as I was saying, like, I said not to send the, well, the message, the video message is still in my phone till now. I decided to calm down, I slept with the hair like that. Then the next day, I settled down and I started tearing it. I thought it, and if you see the clump of hair that came out, after I finished tearing it and combing it, it was horrible. Then I sat down, sat down in my room and started googling how to get rid of postpartum hair loss. And guess what? I didn't see any solution because postpartum hair loss told me, You can't get rid of me, bitch! I'm not going nowhere! I'm not going no fucking way. You can't get rid of me, bitch. I'm not going nowhere. I'm not going no fucking where. What is it? What? Because you have to, you just have to wait it out. So my solution to the whole thing is to wait it out. I've decided not to do anything to my hair. I just put it in cornrows and I'm wearing wigs. For the meantime, until it rectifies itself, it's just a normal thing. Some people don't lose their hair, but most women do, and I guess I'm one of most women. I'm very sure if that woman sees me now, she'll be like, because when she was telling me, I was like, mm, I'm not going to lose my hair. It's not everyone that loses their hair. She was like, it's a normal thing. I'm like, it should not be normal for me. I was in so much denial. Now, if she sees me, she'll be like, did I lie? Did I lie? Did I fucking lie? Did I lie? Did I lie? Did I fucking lie? <laughs> oh my god. I'm going to try out the different headbands here. This one is the first one. This one looks like that bandana in Nigeria. This one is no longer headband wig. It has shifted from headband wig to head bandana wig. I also feel like this extra headband also gives extra security. Since you've secured everything, but it's still untrusted. That means your trust issue is heavy. You can use this thing and just 
bam, secure it on your hair. Cute. I like this one. And I like anything brown. I like anything brown or black. Cute. You see why I put the hair back all the way back? The wig all the way back so that I can show a little bit of my hair. Yeah, that's how you should wear it. Don't put it to your forehead, okay? Okay, baby, don't put it to your forehead. It's a wig, not a cap. I also like pack it up or do another style if you need more illusion. You know, see. Period. So I'm done with my makeup and this is the hair. I used my hairband, the headband that I made. I went with this headband because I wanted a more glam look, but you can basically, you can definitely use the headband that comes with the wig. Is it giving? I know it's giving. And if you want a story on how I did this hairband, it's on my channel and I'm going to link it in the description box. So in conclusion, after I cried and cried and cried and I didn't like the way I was looking for days, so I was wearing wigs, I was covering my forehead with hair bonnet because I didn't recognize myself. I had to like force myself, like I said in my other video, like I had to force myself to accept me. I have a five head, so what? My edges are done, done for, so what? I'm still a bad B, regardless, do you understand? So I had to force myself to accept who I, what I'm looking, what I look like at the moment, accept it, and not only accept it, accept it, do the work to appreciate it. It was, it was hard, let me tell you, it was hard because I didn't realize how much um, value I attached to my edges. I didn't realize it, which is really, which is why I said it's really toxic and counterproductive to have confidence based on the way you look like the way you look at a particular time looks fade easily something might happen and you lose it so stop um don't attach too much importance on physical things like especially your looks because you might lose it and what will happen to you at that moment you have a mental breakdown like i did so don't be like me don't don't do it don't don't do it don't don't do it don't don't Zounds away. Anyway, we've come to the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.